with Tucker Richardson uh, from Colgate. Um, you can give us an opening statement on tonight's game. Uh, I think it was just a, a really good win for us. I think we came out uh, really well, got off to like a 10-0 start. Um, I think it was just a win that we needed to get. Um, we really needed to play well, and I think we did that going into uh, a really tough game on Saturday against Vermont. What do you What do you think was the um, You guys came out on a 10-0 run, and you guys, especially for you, I wanted to ask you, what were you doing that you guys were dominating in the paint? You were shooting threes, but in the middle of the paint, you were dominating also. Yeah, I think the message going into the game, um, just between the guys, like in our huddles, was let's try and dominate this game. Let's impose our will. Um, you know, we really think that we can can play really well in this game, um, and so let's take advantage of that. And just getting the ball inside to Keegan on those first couple possessions, um, and he made them pay. So um, I think that when we start going inside, we're really effective, and those guys um, usually reward us with uh, with passing. So now on the on the on the back end. Um, Binghamton made a run, but you guys answered it, and then you, they never rebounded back. Defensive-wise, what do you think you were doing in that second half to make sure they did not come back? Yeah, we were just trying to be really solid, and I think that a lot of defense comes from offense. Like, we were trying to take really good shots and not turn the ball over. I think when they went on that run, we had a few turnovers, and they got a few transition buckets, um, which we were really trying to limit. And then I think our defensive game plan was just, like, really clogging everything up and being in gaps. Um, not letting them get driving lanes, forcing them to take contested threes and like long mid ranges. So um, I think that that's how we kind of got effective. Uh, that's, that's how we were effective tonight. Um, and obviously, the, every team's going to go on a little run, but if you can sustain that and keep getting good shots um, like we did, we, uh, we were all right. This is a tough time for all student athletes because you're close to finals. Can you speak to, I guess, the strength both on the court and off the court as a student athlete? that you have to have during this time period? Yeah, it's definitely difficult. Um, even uh, some of the older guys that I, I live with uh, were in the library until really late last night uh, working on papers and working on, on projects and whatnot. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a, a tough time. I think it, it takes a lot of time management. Um, and I think that's like an underestimated part of being a student athlete, especially at a school like Colgate or Binghamton, like good schools. Um, you really gotta find a balance of that. And I think our guys do a good job of that, but it definitely is something that when we get on the court, we try and put that aside, and then once the game's over, we have to kind of refocus on that and, and make sure we take care of business in the classroom. Took business, you took care of business in the classroom, you took care of business on the court. It wasn't just the 22 points you had, but how efficient you shot. When you're in a zone like that, do you feel like you can be stopped? I don't know. I mean, I think it's just like getting the ball in the in the best spots. And I, in the last couple of games before this, I haven't been very efficient. Um, I haven't really shot the ball that well. So I think it was good to get back on track, especially hitting those first two threes out of the gate. Um, I think really just kind of like boosted my confidence. I came into the game pretty confident, but um, it was nice to see a couple go down. My teammates gave me the ball in like good spots. So, um, so yeah, just just keep playing the game with confidence. Not try and force anything, but uh, you know, pick my spots and take advantage of them. Moving forward, how do you build on this win heading into the next game? Yeah, like I said, I mean, Vermont, I mean, you guys know about Vermont. They're a really good team in your conference. We played them last year at Vermont, and it was a pretty tight, uh, tight game until the end. They, they pulled away. Um, so trying to look for some revenge against a, a championship caliber team is going to be important. And I think what we have to realize coming from a game like this is when we really lock in defensively, we can be really good. Our offense kind of usually takes care of itself and we usually end up making shots. Um, but we, when we play really good, solid defense, um, we can be pretty hard to stop. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.